Hey guys, I wanted to hop on here and let you know that this is a vlog video. It's a little bit all over the place. I was filming bits and pieces throughout the past few weeks. I've been to England and the stuff that I was filming on the England trip, I didn't want to put in through this vlog because I wanted to do a England video for if you are just interested in what we were doing in England. I can explain all of that on another video. I felt like if I put all of that into this one, it'll be a really long video. And really long videos do not do well on YouTube, especially on my channel. show you guys a few of the things we've done around my house like little home projects we didn't do too much this go round, but there is a few things oh lulu the cats are hungry too by the way but let me show you what we've done things first we kind of figured out what's wrong with the dishwasher and i don't know if we're gonna fix it or just get a whole new dishwasher but this thing keeps filling up with water and it's because the drain pump is broken since getting this house i had no idea that this thing should be changed out every six months so it's been years but this is a filter um for the water right here so finally got a filter in there that thing was so disgusting looking when we pulled it out but now we have like purified drinking water from this little tap i have a working pantry light again it took so long but finally got a working pantry light the laundry room it has a better light. Um, one bulb was out, but the light system was with incandescent bulbs. So whenever we put in the new bulbs, the switch quit working. So we had to replace the switch and now it works with the LED lights and I have it set on a timer for 60 seconds. And that's much better than what it was before. I think before it was like on 10 minutes. So the light would stay on for a really long time. And you know, now more efficient better electric cost.
Christmas present wrapping time. I can't believe it's already that time of year again. I'm so excited. I really enjoy this. It's kind of unhealthy how much I enjoy it. I really enjoy it so much. Let's do this one. This one. Those are going to be the colors I'm going to be using, I think, this year. And once I run out, I will add a different one. So, one of Holly's Christmas gifts. Another Christmas gift for Holly. Another Christmas gift for Holly. today get this out of the way as well so go ahead and start getting the tree looking a little bit full finish wrapping this this is my best one yet like it looks so good in the this looks good so two down and they match so well. Wow. in a gifting wrapping mood these are the items I purchased for one of my nieces uh, what I typically do is get a toy type item and then like an outfit or two and then I get a stocking or like a gift bag and I put a bunch of little goodies in it so this is gonna be her toy type items to go with her dollhouse I am making these like little goodie bags for my nieces because each year, I feel like I've already mentioned this in the video, but each year I buy them some sort of toy off their wish list. I buy them always some sort of outfit or maybe two outfits, depending on what the outfit items are. Um, and then I try to come up with like some sort of treat bag with a few little activities and things like that for them. Uh, they're both totally different age ranges. Um, one of them has uh, autism and I have to kind of accommodate for the different age ranges and the developmental needs. She's seven, I think right now. So yeah, she should be turning eight. So these are things that I felt like would be great for her. First of all, she loves Gabby. And this is like a, it's not exactly a playhouse, but it's like a gingerbread house, but it's made of foam. So it's not made with gingerbread and you don't need glue or anything for it. So I felt like this would be really fun for her to assemble for Christmas. Um, they do have a lot of pets and she has a lot of siblings. So something like a food item in their house might be a little bit harder to handle with animals. So this is gonna be perfect for her. So there's that, you decorate the house. Halloween clay, cause I felt like she can make something with this and it'll dry out and she can maybe make ornaments. Like I said, she really likes Gabby. So I found these little things and they're like little mystery ones. I saw this, it's like a little keychain, but it actually has a light. Is it? Or I thought it had a light, yeah, see? It has a light. So she's going back to public school. So this might be good for her to have on her backpack. Goldfish, just a little snack on. And then I thought the little deer reindeer duck is cute and then there's this little like plushie and I thought it was cute too. Put a few pieces of candy in there, some tissue paper and it's good to go for Mackenzie. Caroline, these are more items I feel like would work good for her. I felt like these little noodles, they're like strings but uh, they're like noodle, like they're really soft like where you could pull them and stretch them and I felt like this would be a good like 
stimulation type toy for her. And then I got two different things of like Play-Doh. So this is like that sand dough um, and it has a unicorn on it, which she's apparently obsessed with. And then this one is like blueberry scented dough. So I felt like this would be fun for her, but as always, if my sister needs to take these away, it's okay, I'm not gonna be offended. She loves uh, like cars and trains. And this has like little magnets so she could hook them up and roll them around. Little doll and a little duck <laughs> that looks like a reindeer. I got them the same so they wouldn't like be upset. They had matching items. And then a pack of the goldfish as well. Because I know Caroline likes these. And then her, I will also do a few pieces of candy. Um, I don't know what type of candy she likes or doesn't like, like texture wise. So my sister can always take that out of the bag if it doesn't work out. But goodie bags all set up and then Caroline I got her a sweater and an outfit and Mackenzie I have her I'm ordering her a sweater and I have her two outfits because her birthday is in January and I know the struggles of a January birthday because I'm January 12th she's January 28th I think so she's at the very end of January but January birthdays are so difficult because you just got Christmas gifts and pretty much people either don't get you a good gift on your birthday because you just had Christmas or the gifts that you get on your birthday were clearly items that was returned um, or like a re-gift item. I can't tell you how many times I was re-gifted toys at parties because the parents' kids did not like them. So they were like, well, Brittany's birthday's in two weeks, so we'll just give it to her. Yeah. So what I'm saying is I'm giving her an extra outfit because it's gonna roll into the birthday gifts I got her, which is a crafting set, a doll, and like one other thing. Um, it's a Gabby thing. It's like a build your own necklace bracelet type set. That's everything I'm giving my nieces. And I feel like I done really good for the fact that it's not even Thanksgiving yet and I already have all their gifts together and wrapped or being shipped here at this moment. I'm gonna use one of my Japan Lush bath bombs. It's a Christmas one. I was wanting to save these and buy the US ones and like compare like quality and everything, but I'm impatient. So we're gonna go ahead and